Extracting your teeth. Will this bring about serious breathing, jaw, and profile appearance problems? Time for some PFO in so you know where you're going. So you're wondering because you maybe you just went to your orthodontist or maybe you've been talking to your dentist. And you got like crowded teeth or you know maybe your, your bite doesn't fit together well and somebody has mentioned taking out teeth to help resolve the problem. And now you've started doing some research and you're like, whoa, people out there, they're saying things like, if I take out my teeth, then I'm gonna have breathing problems or I might have jaw problems. It's gonna mess up my face. I am here to help you. So let's begin. Okay, so let's start with the breathing problems. That's the newest thing out there. A lot of people these days are interested in the causes and associated factors or related factors to OSA, obstructive sleep apnea. That means you, in like very simple terms, you have problems breathing while you're sleeping. And it could be a major medical concern down the road, not managed properly. And there has been put out there some information that maybe taking out teeth or using things like headgear, pushing teeth in your face backwards can lead to OSA or obstructive sleep apnea. So here is the most recent and significant contribution to this question put together by several important figures in the orthodontic community and was published in the AJODO, which is probably the top journal, arguably the top journal, peer reviewed journal related to orthodontics. So okay, let's take a peek here. More more frequently as in patients where extractions are performed to help address dental crowding or improve the occlusion, that means the bite, there is no discernible change in airway dimensions when extractions are used. The studies examining these effects in children and adolescents have reported increases in airway volumes and cross-sectional areas in patients both with and without extractions performed as part of their orthodontic treatment. These effects may likely be related to normal growth changes. So that is some of the best research that orthodontic have access to at this point. Made reference there that extractions, okay, that means taking out teeth. As a reminder, why do we do them? Well, sometimes we do that to help bring teeth that stick out in the front. You can check out our other video, pull them back, or sometimes our bite doesn't fit together the way that we think it should in an ideal world, and so you consider taking out teeth to help that. Those are probably the two most common reasons to take out teeth. Well, it's argued that the idea has been pushed out there that extractions can contribute to OSA, obstructive sleep apnea. In this white paper that the orthodontic profession put out. They reviewed different studies and these studies that are out there, what they found is that in patients with children, adolescents, with and without extractions, they saw increases in airway volume, suggesting that just because you take out teeth doesn't mean that you're going to have a smaller airway or airway issues. Uh, and not to get too into detail with airway, okay, that's not the point here. You can do some research. The point is, is that there are extractions done in individuals and in those individuals with extractions not only do we not see a decrease in the airway size we also may see an actual increase and they suggested that it may be associated with growth changes that happen our bodies as we're young continue to grow okay now what about jaw pain will taking out teeth cause jaw pain well again the orthodontic profession has done lots of research in this area pointing out different studies that suggest that there are people with and without extractions as part of their orthodontic treatment that do not have, or that I should say that do develop symptoms of jaw pain or TMD. To be clear, these studies suggest that you can't associate, I shouldn't say associate, can't honestly point the finger at extractions as the cause of developing TMD because there are individuals that have jaw pain and issues without getting their teeth taken out. And there are people that get teeth taken out as part of their orthodontic treatment that never develop jaw pain. So hopefully that helps clarity. So as you consider, you know, in those two areas, as far as the research is concerned, the evidence supports the idea that extractions do not cause problems with breathing or jaw pain. Now, everybody else wants to know about what about extractions affecting the face? Well, this and the orthodontic profession would agree. There are times it is well known and agreed upon that taking out teeth can affect the facial 
profile from the side, all right? Because the front teeth, they affect the lip position, the lip support, and therefore the position of the teeth. Teeth in the front, that tip back like this, that means the lips can sink in more to rest on those teeth. Teeth that stick out, they push the lips out. Can cause strain here in lower face area. The muscles, you may see the strain. But I'm gonna point out that taking out teeth and the plan to take out teeth, you just gotta communicate with your provider because sometimes due to crowding or due to teeth being you know sticking way out, there are benefits to considering taking out teeth that can lead to a very aesthetic cosmetic result. So I'm gonna show you a case here. I've been waiting so long. I'm gonna show you a case here of an individual that actually was missing a tooth in one spot. And so the decision was made to consider taking out teeth in all the other areas to help fix the bite and prove overall cosmetics. You will get to see the profile to begin with and after. It's not that simple, okay? Just because you take out teeth doesn't mean you're just gonna, your face is gonna be awful afterwards. Just because you take out teeth doesn't mean that there's gonna be huge profile effects. It all depends on the individual, your particular situation. That's why you need to find somebody that you trust that you can work with, hopefully get to a great result. So here we go. Look at this individual right here. Here's the nose. This is what we consider the lower profile and our profile, the lip, the lips being far forward or back can be affected by two major things. Two. One is the type of soft tissue. Different ethnicities have different soft tissue makeup, thicker versus thinner, and thick tissue tends to respond to extractions very well. That means that they hide the effects of the extraction very well. The other thing that can affect lips being out is teeth, right? Sometimes they lean forward, they groove forward. It's a variation uh, or another way to describe crowding, essentially. When teeth stick out way like that, right? It's kind of like crowding crowding. You have to make the room to bring them back. Okay, so in this case, we were missing, this is the bottom right here, we were missing a premolar down here. We had all of our premolars on the bottom here and here and here, but we were missing one down here. So we made the recommendation and we made the decision to remove premolars in all other areas to address the bite and close all the spaces. Here is our presentation here on Smile and our profile. Now let's see what happens after we took out the teeth. Okay, we can note that the angle between our nose and our lip right here hasn't changed dramatically. In fact, our whole face has probably grown in to, I don't wanna say grow into the extractions, but has the fact that we've taken out teeth very well. And this can be a fact, this can be a result of the type of soft tissue, very thick soft tissue. So you wouldn't know that this individual had teeth taken out. Even when you look at our smile through here, when you compare the before and the after, you wouldn't say that there's just this incredible difference. As you compare this, the smile here, to the previous smile, you'll note that extractions did not affect the smile in an adverse way, in any in, in any significant way. Okay, so, so we closed up all the spaces. For those of you who are concerned, when you take out teeth on the top and the bottom, the goal is generally to use that spacing to deal with crowding, or in our case here, to address the bite and try to get it to fit together as best as we could. Well, there you have it. So, cool case that shows taking out teeth, right, extractions to deal with crowding or bite issues doesn't always lead to a sunken in profile and poor cosmetics. We can get great results taking out teeth and it can be beneficial to your health, oral health, especially if, in cases where you're really crowded. So, if your provider says consider taking out teeth, ask why, ask the benefits and talk about the possible side effects which could include things like narrowing a little bit of the smile or profile lips, lip support being reduced. And try to get a feel for what it might be like for you. Okay, in summary, this is a long video, okay? Extractions, do they lead to breathing problems? Well, the evidence does not currently support that. Two, taking out teeth creates jaw pain, will lead to jaw pain. The evidence also, the research evidence also does not support this claim. Finally, taking out teeth will mess your face up and the way that it looks so that you're not happy. And what we just showed in this case is that depending on who you are, despite taking out teeth, you can still get great cosmetic from a facial and smile perspective. Hope this helps for you out there. That's all I've got. Just a little PFO in so you know where you're going. Packard out.